Yeah, it, it's kind of sad that right now, like HBO Max, Disney Plus, and a few others are releasing at the same time that it's being released in the theaters. You know, there's hard times. You know, you just push through it. And we all know that seeing a movie in the theater is a totally different experience. And being around other people and how they react. It's just good to see people out. Yeah. yeah. It's good to be like it's out in the fresh outside air. and like. <laughs> it's the Midwest. It's something to do. <laughs> yeah. We tried this once before he came. You want this one? Well, basically, they're all couch pillows off of his couch, and then we just put uh, like a little, like another, like thing that you could use. How many theaters are left? Drive-ins. Well, since the digital conversion happened, there's only about 200 of them left. Screen number one up here is our biggest screen. It's a 40 foot by 80 foot screen. We actually named the screens after former drive-ins. So that's the Western drive-in screen up there. Back here is screen number two. It's named after the Starlight Drive-In Theater. This utility pole and a couple of those fixtures up on the utility pole came from the old Starlight Drive-In. And some of the uh, speaker poles, those are from the Starlight Drive-In as well. Screen number four, named after the Midway Drive-In and Dunlap, so after the twister had already hit, there was one panel missing off of his screen. Because back then, they used to make screens out of wafer board or something like that. You always had to reattach them. One of my all-time favorites was the original Batman. They had Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson in it. Say, for instance, Twister. You know, that's a classic drive-in movie. I, I can tell you about the travesty I had with Face Off. The theater that had it before me, when they put the reels back into the can, they didn't label them properly. The original Speed. We had people that came back and seen it two, three, four times. I mean, people were coming out and tell you how cold it was, and you could see their breath. But yet, they wanted to come out and watch a Fast and Furious at the drive-in. I love it because of the tradition. You know, the joy that it brings families and other people is quite rewarding. And of course, with the outdoor theater, you can see the movie underneath the stars where you can escape from reality. And uh, so it's a very warm, fuzzy feeling. So as long as we can keep it going, that's the most important thing. So.